Welcome back to the Holy Land Uncovered. I'm Jordana Miller. Education is always the cornerstone of discussions on Jewish identity. That's why the Tali Education Fund created a year-long program with school principals to discuss different pedagogical approaches to Jewish studies. Now, the program recently sent its participants to New York, and joining me here in the studio to talk more about that is Nitsa Elazari. She is the principal of Adam Velamo Tali School and Dr. Perry Sinclair, the director of professional development at Tali. Thank you both for joining me. Um, uh, I want to start with you, uh, Perry, and ask you about this program. Uh, first, why did you create it? Okay, Tali Education Fund has been working with secular schools, Mamlakhti schools in Israel for over 40 years. Um, we've created textbooks, curriculums, experiential programs, and all to help these schools do more Jewish identity in the secular world, create programs that are appropriate for Judaism in Israel in the 21st century. Um, we primarily work with principals and educators to empower them and help them along their journey to figure out what their relationship is to our tradition and our heritage. And um, we created Halali, which is an acronym for Invitation to Jewish-Israeli Learning, in order to invite them to embark on a journey with us to delve into our um, heritage and tradition. Um, we believe that uh, in order for them to create transformative educational experiences, they have to have the know-how, the knowledge, and the passion. So we want to inspire them on all those three levels and then help them along whatever path they choose. Right. I guess it's important just for context for our viewers that in Israel there's kind of different school systems. Mm -hmm. And Tali pertains to the secular stream of schools, but what you're trying to do is kind of infuse more also Jewish content uh, and identity programming into the school, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So, Nitsa, uh, you are one of the principals that is part of this program from Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me a little bit about your experience in the program. Oh, it was enlightening. Uh, it was very interesting. I, you see, I, I've been a part of Tally Schools for 20 years as an educator, as a vice principal in, an, in a school in Jerusalem, and then as a, pre, as a principal. There's no one school, well, one Tally school uh, similar as, uh, like the other. Uh, but this, this program was so special because it emphasized our Jewish uh, identity for me uh, personally and for uh, my friends in the group. Um, it was the summary of all of this uh, was uh, the visit in New, in New York, and it was, uh, I think we have a lot to learn from the Jewish community in, uh, in the United States. From uh, the, Jewish, the yeah. Jewish schools in the yeah. United States. Mm -hmm. Why, is that why you went and took this group to the United States to kind of expose them to the kind of plethora of Jewish uh, educational tools that are, that are so vibrant in the United States? Yes, but before we took them, we spent a whole year studying in Israel. We wanted them to speak about their own identities, to delve into their connection to heritage, to their connection to being a Jew in Israel. Uh, we wanted to study different Jewish approaches to change. We wanted to show that Judaism has evolved over years, over time, in different places in the world. And um, we wanted to learn together about the people that study in their schools, the, the parents that choose to go to secular schools, because they're not monolithic. And they have different approaches to their tradition and their Judaism. And only after we had our own experience here did we go to the United States um, because of the diversity there. And Nita, what was one thing that kind of stood out to you from your experience in New York at the Jewish schools? It was very exciting for me to see the way that they uh, give an, an important, uh, it, was, it was very important for them to emphasize their Jewish uh, identity. Uh, in compared to uh, our life here in, uh, in Israel that we don't have to emphasize it, they, it was so important to them. It was exciting to see that wherever we went, the Jewish people, the, the Jewish community was um, they spoke about their Judaism in a, in a, in a, in a matter that was, uh, it was exciting for me to see. It was, it was so important to them in day-to-day -day life, uh, the tolerance that they have for each other. Uh, we visited in uh, three kinds of schools. 
We visited in uh, JCCs in Harlem and in, uh, in, ha in uh, Manhattan. And we visited in uh, uh, synagogues, different kinds of synagogue, uh, celebrated the Shabbat in different ways. So it was, we as Israelis, we have a lot to learn from the community life that they have over there. This we, is, this I, is, sure. Yeah, I just want to say in Israel, Judaism just happens. It's like a, back to, a soundtrack to our lives, and you don't have to do anything because right, our calendar there. is Jews. It's always there. You can be a very passive Jew, and it'll be part of your life. And if, when you go to the United States or any other Jewish community outside, outside of, Israel. of Israel, you have to actively choose to engage in Jewish life. It's a choice you have to make every day about where you live and where you, you send your, school, your children to school. And going there and seeing what Judaism out of choice is as opposed to Judaism that's imposed on you by a state, is very enlightening. Well, I was going to say, in Israel, it's a certain kind of uh, charged dynamic here because of the, really, the lack of separation between religion mm -hmm. and state, which, of course, the United States has. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, in a sense, the, the, the Judaism that gets advertised to the public is really an orthodox face. Mm -hmm. um, but, of course, there's, most of Israel is not orthodox. And I guess the challenge is trying to incorporate, uh, you know, a sense of Jewishness uh, that reflects a variety of views uh, and traditions. So what we hope is that participants of Halili come back here and become more proactive and try to create a Judaism as opposed to experiencing what has been created for them. We want them to actively decide what their Judaism will look like and not just say we're not religious, we're not, you know, they have a more positive Jewish experience and Jewish identity that fits in with the larger Jewish people. Right. So, Nitsa, is there one change that you look forward to making in your school? There's no, there is more than one way to be a Jewish. This is the main thing that I came out with, with this experience. Um, see, as a teacher for 20 years in Tali schools, it, one of the things that was important to me as a teacher to, to uh, make the, the, the knowledge about the Judaism uh, available for my um, for my students, uh, in their own and by giving it uh, a place in the in the day to day life, and the thing that I took the most from this experience was that there is more than one way, and the, and every way you choose is legitim uh, legitimate, and it's okay if this is the way you chose. You, your family, as a grown-up, as a child, it's okay. Just please do not forget your heritage. Please do not forget your roots, and do not do not forget where we came. From, we all came from. Perry, is a message of tolerance also part of this? Tolerance for different religious traditions within Judaism. I think that's something you get, you gain from going to the United States. There are so many different ways to do Jewish. And you can go from one congregation to another, from one school to another, and they live side by side. They pretty much respect, you know, they respect each other. Yeah, for and, the most and part. And they don't, yes. you know, for the most part, they respect each other, and, and um, nothing's imposed upon them, as opposed to the way we live here in Israel. And I think, I think if they come back, the teachers and principals come back and can be more tolerant and more accepting of liberal Jews from America who come here and want to do certain things, and and of uh, and the different flavors of Judaism that are um, growing here as well. Right. That'll make Israeli, Israel a much more tolerant and pluralist society. Right. Well, it's really uh, interesting and important work you're doing. Thank you so much, Perry and Nitsa, for joining me.